Welcome to the channel where each week is a brand new challenge. And this week, I'm at my grandparents' house trying to go back in time the best way that I know how. So the challenge is to learn how to use my grandfather's old gear that he would climb telephone poles with in a job that goes back like 60 years. I couldn't believe it when I heard that he never threw away all of his stuff. <laughs> I just got here a little bit earlier today. And I think that the first thing I need to do is find this stuff, wherever it is. Papa, how's it going? It's his birthday, how do you it's think it's going? Happy 58th birthday. Thank yeah, you. he's not dyslexic. I already tried that. 58 or 85. Papa said it's somewhere up high in his barn in a white canvas bag with a leather bottom. I kind of lucked out because my dad said he, he probably knows where it is and could help me go find it. I love that bag. You found it pretty quick. Yeah. That would have taken me a lot I longer. What it looked like. I'm going to cut back to my place, but I want to show you the thing that started all of this. All right, this is where all my interest comes from, from my grandfather's telephone climbing stuff. It's one thing to hear stories of the 1960s, but it's another thing entirely to see the 1960s on film. So this is the family projector. Sadly, the family film camera is lost somewhere in time, but we still have old film reels, and I've been going through them and found these clips of my grandfather when he was about my age, but already married and had kids. And that's him climbing around between telephone poles. So I went to him and said, hey, Papa, I found footage of you that was filmed by Nana. And what he ended up saying to me was, I'll do you one better. I've still got all the old gear. And that brings us back to my grandparents' house. This is the tube. Oh, these are the spikes? This reminds me of the braces that, um, what's, what, what are the, uh, what's that movie? Run, run Forest, Forest Run, Forest, run. Forest Gump, Gump, right? These are like his leg braces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you stick in the pole. Got one on each foot. But look at the leather that's involved in this thing. And all the loops around here and everything. This is what we carry to ranches. W-R-A-N-C-H, ranch. But that's the tools of a lineman. And now I think it's about time to go to Ikea, buy a bunch of pillows to protect me in case I fall, and just start prepping to use these things. Ikea trip. How, how far are we on the maps? Uh, it says we're 30 minutes away. It's usually like 15 minutes. Why does it say we're 30 minutes away? Wait, does that not control the volume? How do I turn the music off? There, it doesn't work. <laughs> Tanner, you're so homeless. I found the button. 30 minutes from Ikea. I believe we right at rush hour. That's not okay. We don't have to. Uh, okay, I can go find pillows at my parents' house. Where's my mirror? I wanted to check my hair. I'm on camera. I need to show me all the things wrong with your car. I don't see a mirror. So that broke off. You have to manually there. raise it. This isn't wrong with your car, but it's also wrong it's with right. your car. <laughs> What's I, that? That's horrible. This broke off. So I can't, if you look on your side, that's what it's supposed to look like. How did this happen? Did you rage hulk this? No, and no, like, I literally just like, like, Pulled it in like this. It just broke off. And now this is gonna break because you're pulling gonna, on it all the time. Break. You've got all your own custom can, speaker. All I can listen to is AM radio. Campus, Governor Roy Cooper posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, that he. All right, boys. These are my grandfather's hooks. I can smell the old. You can smell how old it is. What? What? Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I thought I was looking into like a like a, the bag of a torturer or something like that. <laughs> you can take this. Just keep going. I'm gonna grab this stuff. Oh man, this what? How is How this even? Oh, God, so you like oh it just food. smells like like a farm. Yeah. It's... From a rancher family. I, I thought this was like to put so oh wait, this no, that no. It's oh, this is the hook. Oh and that's, that's the, the spike. Oh alright. So you take this yeah. off, it goes around the pole, and then you clip on here. Oh, and then you just lean back. He made me promise not to go higher than like four feet. But I'm serious. Experience, it's an experience. You can take them with you, but you give me your true performance. You're not going to climb any pole more than four feet tall. 
number five. I think I think I know what I'm doing, Granddad, and I, technically I kept my promise. You can I, call him while you're higher than you said you were supposed to be. I told, <laughs> no. him, that, I told him that no. before. So remember when we said three feet? I'm gonna right. shut uh, you guys down. I wanna see if I can go ten feet. No, I love this man too much. And please tell me, how do I get down? Because I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my parents are gonna ask, like, why do all of our pillowcases have a lot of dirt on them? I don't even fully know how to how to do this, so I'm locked in. Are we working with something here? Oh, it's yeah. something. It's all coming together. Oh, dude. Really dig in there. This doesn't really go in the way that I thought it would. It's like the wood is so hard. Lean back. How's it feel? That does not feel good. How did he do this 20 feet up? And you absolutely feel like if you slip, you're gonna just like, this pillow is good. All right, I'll try to go up a, how does he do this? Guys, this is insane. I don't think there's any way I can go up 20 feet like this. Not with that so do you wanna, do you no, you don't understand. This is crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to take another step. <sighs> Look at the marks that it leaves. Think about like, it's not that deep. Like, oh, this would make you so tired. <sighs> How high would you say I am right now? A foot and a half. Are you kidding? I thought like three and a half feet. That's like six feet. Even this high, if I were to fall, the way that I would do it would probably whip me around to the right or left and I wouldn't hit the mattress. I wouldn't be falling straight back. Ooh, left spike just slipped. This just gives me so much more respect. The stories that that man has to have climbed up uh, telephone poles and fixed things like this. Oh, I can't even wrap my brain around it. Okay, one more, one more step. All right, guys. I think that's how far, how far up I'm gonna make it. I'd be interested to see you do it for 10 feet. <laughs> no. <laughs> This was the challenge that he told me. He said, you need to try to lean back and see if you can trust it. My leg shake? This is such a hard job. What a crazy, crazy job. Oh my gosh. Y'all have to try this, you don't understand. This is crazy. What if we go higher? <laughs> You know what? You're gonna eat your words. You're gonna get a foot up and you're gonna be like, I get it. So I guess technically this challenge was a su success? I feel like I totally understand his stories more just doing that. This was a success. Did he give you a, a PEMDAS, an order of operations here? Of like stick first, Don't go higher than then lean, or lean, then stick? Lean and stick, and stick and lean. All of it at all the same time. Y'all thought I was crazy. That feels bad. And then try to get to a point, I guess, that where... That feels actively bad. <laughs> <laughs> I want the people through the camera to understand that this is not easy. The spikes don't go in too much. And then right off the bat, it feels sketchy, right? Yeah. How did y'all both get up here? Just don't feel the need to do anything too crazy, because again, even three or four feet off the ground, you, you could um, probably break something with a, with a bad fall. So I'd say right about now, you're like three feet off the ground. How do you feel? Like I can keep going, but I definitely get the, the sense of caution. All right, you're officially the highest and you have me freaking out. You feel like you could be a telephone man? I think I found my calling. <laughs> right now, I wouldn't go climb a damn pole for $500. I wouldn't, no. Well, I forgot to tell you, I brought you $500 just to test and see. Well, if... <laughs> I'm telling you, it'll take $1,000. All 